Hello everyone. Welcome back to Parthak lecture series. Today we are going to learn director's identification number. DIN is a unique director identification number allotted by the central government to any person intending to be a director or an existing director of the company. Let us understand the meaning of director identification number. It is an eight digit unique identification number that has lifetime validity. Through this DIN, the details of directors are maintained in a database. Now just understand uh, where to apply for this DIN. So any person or any individual intending to become a director of any company shall make an application for the allotment of DIN to the central government in the prescribed form along with the fees. Now the documents which are required to be attached with the application, duly attested photocopies of the following docu documents are required, identity proof, any one either pen card, driving license, passport or voter's ID. For residence proof, any one out of this that is driving license, passport, ID card, telephone bill, ration card, electricity bill or bank statement. Now the question arises whether the multiple DIN is required for holding multiple directorship of a company. So answer is no. Only a single DIN is required for an individual irrespective of the number of directorship held by him. All the directorship of an individual would be mapped in the database through this DIN. Cancellation of DIN. The central government may cancel the DIN under the following grounds. If a duplicate DIN has been issued to the director, DIN was obtained by fraudulent means or on the death of the concerned person or the person has been declared unsound mind by the court and the person has been adjudicated and insolvent. Now what are the usage of this DIN? Why DIN is required? So whenever a return, an application or any information related to a company will be submitted under any law, the director signing such return, application or information will mention his DIN underneath his signature. Surrender of DIN A person if has not used the number may file an application in form BIR-5 to the central government for surrender of his DIN. He has to submit a declaration that he has never been appointed as a director in the company and the said deal has never been used for filing any document with any authority. Upon verifying the e-records, the central government will deactivate DIN. Now what is the penalty if any provision is contravened or violated? So here. As per the Company Amendment Act 2019, if any individual or director of a company makes any default in complying with any of the provision of Section 152, 155 and Section 156, such individual or director of a company shall be liable to a penalty which may extend to 50,000 and where the default is continuing one with a further penalty which may extend to 500 rupees for each day after the first during which such default continues. So earlier there was a provision of imprisonment now which is removed after this amendment in 2019. So thank you very much.